my husband had to take them off and he's starting to upload them and put them up. So what I was talking is about is about worming guinea pigs. Now I have to worm my guinea pigs once a month and after when you worm them they have to drink their worm medicine and um, you've got to make sure they finish it. So we've left the worm medicine for today as well and I just emptied one of the bottles and cleaned it and I used to to clean the bottles I use these bottle brushes and now I've got to sterilize it um, to clean the guinea pigs bottles when they're finished with the worm, worm medicine because the worm medicine is still in the bottle like they finished it but the liquid is still in there and um, Teddy's nearly finished and Sylvia's still going so I nearly need to clean Teddy's very soon as well so that's what I was talking about before the camera just paused so yeah so to clean water bottle brushes when you have guinea pigs, I will show you. Probably you can see. Okay. Alright, so to clean them, you can use warm soapy water or just put some soap on the brushes, which I do, and then just leave them in the sink. So, <clears throat> so the brush I've used is this one, which you can see it's all bended, and I don't want to touch it, so I'm just going to put some soap on it. And then I'm going to just rinse the excess off like I'm doing now. And all this soap will be coming off the bottle brush and then you can use your hands just to clean it. And it won't, it, like when you finish with this you should always wash your hands because you probably might have to wear medicine on your hands. Um, but that is what I'm doing. And these are bending brushes, so they can bend, and then they can put them back in place. So I just put the soap on it. Now I'm going to use the hot water now. And that is done. Now that is all clean and sterile for me to use it for the next guinea pig. Now this bottle brush here is for small bottles. And then that one is Ginger's, this one is Sylvia's, and that one is Teddy's. So I really need to use it again, just in case they finish. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show you. I'm going to get soap in my arm. I think I must have got soap in my arm. One minute. No, I didn't get soap in my arm. No. I don't know what that was. I just have got to remember I've got oil on my face. Okay, now I'm going to cut some fruit and make some ice cream for my husband. So that is what I'm doing now. Just gave some guinea pigs their dinner. And I'm using the Pollyan ice cream from Coles. Very tough ice cream. So what we're going to do with this tub is we wash it with some warm soapy water and then we make a little door, which I'm going to show you another time. I will, when it's finished I will show you. And we're going to pass that on to Ginger um, if he fits in there. If he doesn't, we'll pass it on to Sylvie. And they keep them as their homes and we can decorate them. And... Um, Where's Rachel's ice cream? Do you want flavouring, hun? Yeah, just a little bit. Come on, flavouring. I just want to pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, there we go. Come on, flavouring. 
No, not much. Not much wants to come out. So, honey, not much wanted to come out, do you? So, so, so sorry about that. So sorry. And then I'll put a Christmas chocolate on top. <laughs> These are really nice. Mm. I'm just gonna give this to Mitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He drips. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut my fruit. I don't know what one I'm gonna have. Um, I'm gonna use my fruit knife. How nice that looks, it looks so nice. Now, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might just have that much of that dough for tonight of fruit. It's chopping it a bit smaller. Nectarine. Actually, I might have one more. It is my dessert. Why not? Don't want to eat them all though because I want some for tomorrow for lunch. Um, that one's a bit of a bad one. So what I do is I'm going to throw some water into the bowl and then I'm going to add a bit of sugar and the sugar is really good for like some taste and that is what I want on my lunches. Pop them in the fridge. Now I'm going to just add some water and I just leave the water into the bowl and I'm just going to add a bit of sugar. Now, all I add is one teaspoon of sugar. I don't need to add too much sugar. Just make sure I sprinkle it all over my fruit. Okay. So, there's the fruit with water. Add a teaspoon of sugar into the bowl. Add the whole sugar and let it soak into the fruit. And then you drain the water and the sugar of the fruit, or you, like the sugar actually attacks, touches the fruit. Now I'm just going to drain the fruit by just taking all the water out. And a little bit of water into the fruit is fine. And then, perfect. So that's my dessert, and then I'm gonna have a quick throw later. I'm trying to eat a bit healthier than unhealthy. So I'm gonna take you guys with me now, and I'm gonna take my fruit with me, and I'm taking you into my bedroom where my boy Teddy is. Gotta get him out in the cage. So I'm gonna leave you with my Teddy.
Nothing goes as planned. Everything will break. People say goodbye in their own special way. All that you rely on, on, on. And all that you can fake. We'll leave you in the morning. We'll find you in the day. Everything will change. Nothing stays the same. Nobody here is perfect. Oh, but everyone. Everything is dark. It's more than you can take. Would you catch a glimpse of sunlight shining, shining down on your face, on your face? Christmas present and 
Yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go for now, and I'll see you soon. Bye.